personally the age of 18, she participated in the Patterson movement with her whole passion and her in March 1st, 1919. Many people, especially students, gathered together and shouted, Manze! Manze means something like hooray in English, but not exactly the same. This Manze movement spread around the world, and it had a big influence to the Chinese May 4th movement, nonviolent civil disobedience by Gandhi in India, and the Turkish National Movement. I wish that the Great March First Independence Movement, which affected the national movement, spreads out with Korea's patriotism and resistance spirit to them as well. March First Independence Movement. Yu Gantu was a student and organizer what would come to be known as the March First Independence Movement. Many people participated in demonstrations at Tucker Park, Nam Demonstration, and so on. She handed out Tiger Geek. The national flag to every citizen at Alde Zanto shouted, Kendo Mi Manze! Long life during the canvas! With 3,000 crowds. Then, she was arrested by Japanese policemen for leading the demonstration. However, she continued to resist for independence of Korea. She received harsh beatings and torture. As a result, she died in prison in October 12, 1920. She was only 18 by then. Have you ever heard about her final words? She said that, It with my fingernails torn out, my nose and ears apart, and my legs and arms crushed. The pain of losing my nation is more brutal. Wow, how great she was. From now on, Let's move on to the Sodeman prison where she was brutally tortured to this last life. As a history spot number 324 in February 27, 1988, beginning in 1907, it was constructed by Japanese and after a year, it was changed under the open, uh, open under the name of Gyeongsang prison. Still activists and could accommodate around 500 people. Yuga soon entered her life in Sodom prison basement. After the colonial period ended in 1945, the prison was used by the South Korea government until 1987. It has independent and democratic history with active sacrifice in the Japanese colonial period and reminds us the national and independent spirit to our descendants. A resistance.